Hey everybody, Minpin here with another Clash Tools 101. Today we're going to talk about how to create a clan inside of Clash Tools. So let's get started. Alright, you can see here that the software is pretty bare if you haven't been in a clan yet or not joined a clan. So you can click the button at the top to create a clan. And enter the clan name and your clan tag. Now it's important to have the clan tag be accurate because should two clans who are both using Clash Tools have a war together, the statistics will be that much more accurate in keeping track of those matchups. Click save and you're going to be presented with the clan settings page. Uh, at the top there's just some public information, so the idea here is that eventually Clash Tools will present everybody with a public persona of the clan. And so right now there's uh, some sparse data, but eventually there will be things like links, clan links, um, links to videos, things like that. Uh, for now just fill the details here in with whatever you want, and uh, later on we'll, we'll see how that exposes itself uh, to the rest of the world when they, when they search for your clan. The bottom part here is the part that's really, really important. The war settings section is where you define how you'd like to run wars. Each category has a pop-up help that will remind you in case you forget the impact each one of these different settings has on the wars that you're going to run. Let's talk about each category in detail now. There are two different base assignment settings. The first is the first target assignment. A lot of clans like to have the leaders or co-leaders assign first targets for the war as an organizational way of, of getting those first targets out. You can also choose to have them self-assigned, which just means when the war starts, it's kind of a free-for-all. Everybody can pick their own target. Then cleanup attacks are also separately configured. There are war clans who like to assign first targets, but then allow all members to choose the cleanup targets. So you have both options on both of those. The next two settings dictate how long people have to attack when they're assigned a base or when they've signed up for a base. First target call, lasting 12 hours, is generally how Kara Heroes and Kara Rising does things. This means that when somebody's assigned a base as an initial attack, they'll have up to 12 hours into the war to ex execute their attack before their call expires. The cleanup calls generally last 4 hours. So if somebody signs up for a cleanup attack and they don't attack within 4 hours, that call will expire and somebody else will be able to sign up for the base. The free-for-all period setting lets you designate a time at the end of the war where all bases will be open for anybody who hasn't done their attacks yet. Generally at Kara Heroes and Kara Rising, we at the, at the end of the war with two hours left, unless it's a close war, we pretty much let people open attack on bases they think they can three-star. If you don't want to use this setting, set the, set the time to zero for the free-for-all period and there will be no free-for-all period in your wars. And the last setting on this page is whether or not you would like to allow overcalls. And by overcalls, what I mean is, if somebody's already reserved a base but still has two hours left to attack, will you allow other people to sign up behind that person? In other words, anticipating that they could fail, I would like to assign myself that base once that person is done. Generally speaking, we do not allow overcalls at Kara Rising and Kara Heroes, but some clans I know do. Once everything's set to your taste, go ahead and click the Save button, and remember you can always come back and edit these settings by clicking the Settings link over in the Clan section on the left side, or using the menu in the upper right. When you're done, click the Clash.Tools logo and you'll be taken back to your home page, and you'll notice that you are now listed as being in a clan in the top left. You can see there's a war status, you can leave the clan, and the recent clan activity will start to be populated by the things that happen in the clan. You can also click over to the members list and see that you've been uh, set as the leader of this clan, so by default when you create the clan you are the leader, and you can always, like I said, go back to settings anytime you want and change, and you can even change them mid-war and it should still work. If we go up to the top and search, for the clan that we just created and hit enter, you'll see that the clan actually comes up and this is how people can find you. So when you send your members here to join the clan, you just tell them to go ahead and search at the top, type in the name of the clan or the clan tag, and it should come up. Alright guys, well that's it for this time around. Next up is going to be joining clans and how that join approval process works. 